As much as I enjoy Kate McGuire talking about the debt ceiling, what I really want her to talk about... <laughs> Can I come back on Monday and talk <laughs> yeah, about the debt ceiling? Absolutely. Every day, I'll do a five-minute segment <laughs> on the debt ceiling. Thank it's, you. It's much better when she uh, comes in and tells us what's happening with the Berkshire Theater Group. She is uh, the uh, she is um, the CEO. She is the artistic director of BTG, and it is uh, really a great pleasure to have her both on the panel but with us this morning to give us a preview. Million Dollar Quartet. A three-time Tony Award-nominated Once in a Lifetime Musical Evening is back by popular demand with some of the same cast as in 2017. Other highlights include the Secret Garden spring version. Is it spring version? Is that it? That's version? it. Spring okay. version. A uh, special encore performance of the beloved musical that is uh, beautiful and spirited as the original. On Cedar Street, a world premiere musical about second chances in life and love. Uh, we have Rebecca Brookshire and David Adkins uh, in the cast of Photograph 51, which Kate mentioned earlier, uh, which is a portrait of the race to discover the mysteries of the DNA double helix. The Smile of Her, a world premiere play written and performed by Academy Emmy and Golden Globe Award winner Christine Waddy. I can't wait to see that. Mm. So cool. And much, much more. Kate, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm still here. My Excellent. eyes are a little crossed from talking about the death scene. <laughs> I tried survived. to brush up, but it was the only art. Those survived. were the only articles I did not read. However, I do manage the budget at my organization. I went to I went to um, bed last night, and I was, I was sitting. I was going, "Man, I should have told Kate to bring Eric." <laughs> oh, that would have been much more spirited. You could have high. You could have yes. uh, tag teamed. Uh, anyway, um, well. Uh, it's a great season. It's a wonderful season. It does it does it feel like you're slowly getting back to to whatever normal was? Hmm. Um, if the world would cooperate and we could look out and see normal landscape, but we never. We were talking about this earlier. We never stopped performing. We presented that Godspell um, under a tent in 2020 in August. And then we did some concerts out on the lawn in Stockbridge. And then we did a beautiful production of Holiday Memories in 13-degree weather outdoors in Stockbridge. And we just kept going. And so, you know, when it all began, I remember saying, if I have to get out there and juggle, then I'm going to (laughs) juggle. And everyone said, let's put on a show instead, Kate. Um, So the staff and the board... Our community has been used to us, and we have kept going. And so does it feel like back to normal? It does in the sense that so many people are coming into our doors. What we particularly missed through all of this was working with our kids. Um, we had an, you know, a vast education program that was in schools, after-school programming, tour, kids performing on our stage. All of that went away. Um, pretty much during COVID. I mean, we did classes online, but not the same. No. We do live. And so, yes, we are now back with our 10,000 area school children in so many ways, out there performing the Magic Treehouse by the wonderful Mary Pope Osborne. Yes. We'll be getting ready to do that again in the fall. Um, and this summer, the Secret Garden, which you mentioned, the spring version Many of our children will be in that sort of encore production, if you will. Um, and we will have Christmas Carol again this year oh, with wow. many of our children. Wonderful. So um, it's good to be back with the kids. And it's also amazing to open the doors of the theater and have people walk in so excited, which is why Million Dollar Quartet is really feeling awfully good. Those actors arrived. They're incredible. Um, As you mentioned, we performed that show in 2017 at our Unicorn Theater. And when that show came down, people kept asking for it. It is really, of all the shows that we've done, it's the one show that I hear constantly, please bring that show back. So we're bringing it back to the colonial stage. And it's just going to be a great time. I mean, even the meet and greet the other day was just so energized and a nice, happy, 
happy is good, isn't it, these days? Well, happy, also comfortable. I mean, right, yeah. there's there's no, um, nothing against this, but it's, uh, you, you have music that you're, you're comfortable with, you have personalities you're comfortable with, mm-hmm. you have a show that you're you're somewhat comfortable you know you know what what's oh, sure. going on it's Johnny and Cash it, and right. Elvis Presley it, you know I mean story. we get it we know it and, and uh, it just seems like oh okay this is yeah. a good good place to be and also the colonial is just the whole lobby area um, we've worked with uh, one of our trustees Dan Dwyer and the entire lobby area is done over it's just beautiful it so come is, early and have a drink. It is beautiful, and yeah. and and it's. Uh, I'm. You have one of the nicest areas because you, even, I'm trying to put this into words, but it's it's segmented. Yes, and and so you can get away from people that you don't like, but it's it's very nice. <laughs> well, it's also wonderful for rentals. I there mean, you if go. you want to rent spaces, you've yes. got the historic lobby, you've got the VIP lounge upstairs, you've got that great area that we call the garage that you can settle into, and we now have a new warehouse that's been developed um, and a rehearsal space all attached, and then the beautiful artist house behind. So, yes, if you'd like to do your wedding, the Colonial Theater is the space. All right. So we have, uh, we just have, uh, time goes quickly, so I want to get to the season. So we have Million yep. Dollar uh, Quartet. So there's the, uh, for folks who do not know, basically you have three three stages, right? There's the there's the Colonial in Pittsfield. In Pittsfield, and then in Stockbridge there is the Berkshire Theater Festival which is There's the Playhouse. The Playhouse. Which is closed. Right. Um but will reopen soon with you know, we will refurbish and replenish and make sure that's open for our 100th anniversary. And then there's the wonderful Unicorn Theater where we recently closed what the constitution means to me, which everyone had a splendid time, and where this week we are opening Photograph 51, which is an incredible story about the scientist Rosalind Franklin and the discovery of DNA. And as I said before, it is a journey through history, through science and an understanding of who this woman was and her life became forgotten for a long time. There have been several articles in the New York Times about the scientist Rosalind Franklin recently, but her story is an amazing one. The play is by Anna Ziegler, and I should also add that all of the plays this summer in the Unicorn Theater are by women, and so... You know, we're talking about women, and and that wasn't uh, that wasn't uh, an accident. Um, you know, I got to the final piece on Cedar Street, which is this incredible team of women that are the creators behind this new musical, and all of a sudden I went, "Whoa, they're all by women. There must be something on my mind these days. Like, what's going on with women in right. the world?" And so, yes, each play looks at women's issues, but in very interesting, wonderful, sometimes difficult, sometimes provocative, and sometimes romantic. They're all worth seeing. Also, The Smile of Her by Christine Lottie, the wonderful actress, is a piece about her own life, which she is performing in, with an amazing young actress named Georgie James. Um, Director Robert Egan is working on that with her, and I should say that the amazing David Auburn, who has Summer 1976 running on Broadway right now, his own mm-hmm. play, is the director on Photograph 51. Um, all of these plays are really interesting takes with some amazing performers, really incredible actors on our stages. I, when I was at Photograph 51 last night, the audience was transfixed. The play is performed in one act. Rebecca Brookshire is at the center of it as Rosalind Franklin. And it is a story that most of us don't know her story, (laughs) though we certainly know that that discovery of DNA opened up an entire world of science and medicine for us all. And it's just an amazing story. So that that is open now, and then Million Dollar Quartet opens opens on June twenty seventh and runs through July sixteenth. Christine Lottie arrives in town and starts rehearsal for The Smile of Her, which opens July twelfth through July twenty ninth 
on Cedar Street, which is a world premiere musical book by Emily Mann, music by the late Lucy Simon and Carmel Dean has joined the team, Susan Birkenhead and Susan Shulman. These are top-notch, award-winning talent talented artists who are assembling to put this beautiful romantic piece together for us. Just incredible. And I will also tell you that you do not want to miss in on Cedar Street, Addison. Now, who is Addison? I know you're a dog lover. (laughs) Addison has just returned from the national tour of Annie and performs in our on Cedar Street. (laughs) Yes, a dog. Do you uh, do you audition the dogs? No, we go to a wonderful man in New York City who has a lot of well, really well trained dogs. Okay. I thought, well, there's a lot of dogs in the Berkshires. Surely we can find the right dog. (laughs) Yeah, I was wrong. (laughs) Well, and you're 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 into it too because the 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 the, the poster for it is like the kid petting the dog right in the center. So I mean, you got. We've got kids. Oh, yeah, you got but, kids. And I thought we had dogs, but no, we've got the, the dog. <laughs> and then in the fall, we're doing Copenhagen by Michael Frayn, which is also an incredible story about how that atom bomb came to be and a meeting um, between two scientists and which one um, went on to create the meeting that happened was never written about. We don't really know what happened. So Michael Frayn imagines what that happened at that meeting. You, uh, I was, I was just reading in the paper uh, the other day about uh, Rock and Roll Man. Yes, and uh, which is opening in New York. Yeah, and and uh, that that started uh, that started that started that, on that colonial stage colonial a few stage. years ago with the wonderful producer Rose Keola, and we had so much fun. And it opens on June twenty first in New York. Rock yeah. and Roll Man. Yeah, uh, different cast, but but um, uh, mostly different cast. But 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 my goodness, it, it's a uh, it's a neat that's a neat thing. Oh, to we see love it, it when our shows move everywhere. We'll go on. Yeah. Um, what else would you like to tell us about? Well, um, I just want to make sure that everybody gets in touch with us through our box office. Also, in the fall, Hershey Felder, the brilliant musician, pianist, storyteller Hershey Felder, will be with us to perform Beethoven, a play with music. And that performance is September the 7th, September the 8th, September the 9th. And on September the 10th will be a Moonlight Sonata Gala with yeah. Hershey Felder. Oh, that's great. Yes, at the Colonial, in that beautiful space. And then you'll continue to have one-offs, one-night things yes. that'll be go we through? Yes, we do have um, a wonderful uh, rock and roll group, Ambrosia, who wrote, you know that song, The Biggest Part of Me? I yeah. would sing it right now. They had several hits, but you don't want me to sing. No. <laughs> um, but they are with us on August the 4th at 7.30, and then we go into the fall with wonderful concerts and storytelling and comedians at the Colonial and lots of activities. We just uh, keep going, Joe. That is a that's a wonderful place to be, isn't it? Um, and uh, and and do, do you get a sense that, that, that um, well, just that, that the Berkshire arts and theater community is is fairly solid i hope so i think that the thing about the berkshires is that it is a cultural destination we're a destination for nature to stand in beautiful nature and why wouldn't the arts do well in such an environment um you know you mentioned my husband earlier eric hill who's directing copenhagen for us um but i remember One day getting home and I was like, all I do is drive up and down Route 7, back and forth. I go from the Colonial to the BTF, up and down, up and down. He was like, Kate, 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 we live in one of the most beautiful places on the planet. And we do. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. That's a good thing. Well, if you want to find out more about any of the cool things we talked about, and there are many, many cool things, including Photograph 51, which is now open and uh, up for you to see, you can go to their website. It's BerkshireTheaterGroup.org, BerkshireTheaterGroup.org. And it is just one of many, many productions coming up this summer and into the fall. 
Berkshire Theater Group CEO and Artistic Director Kate McGuire, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for being us uh, being with us on the panel. Uh, thank you for being such a dear friend and uh, confidant. And I thank you very much for. Uh, Hanging out. Oh, I'm so grateful to be with you again. Look forward I to or your next time. Before COVID. Uh, yeah. Oh, huh. that's really is it? Yeah, I guess yes, that is it's sure, a long that's time. True. And look, you are younger. <laughs> well, that's just not true. <laughs> but I will. I will. Uh, we'll, we'll have you back on the fall. We'll do this again. Lovely. Thank Excellent. You. Uh, you're listening to the roundtable on WAMC. We'll continue uh, right here, and we'll also.